Hi everyone, they're a little bit late to the party, but can you believe CDR King have started selling these little fidget spinners? Now this one is actually their most expensive one. This is a hundred pesos and you can see it's got these cool lights built in. Now I've got my video lights turned on. Let me turn them off so you can get a better look at this. Here you go. Oh, it's way too bright on camera, but it actually looks really cool. And it spins for a fairly long time. Well, it does when you don't drop it. So let's spin again. Let me put the lights back on and show you. And this is how it looks with the built-in lights turned off. Now they have another one very similar to this, but it's heavier. It's made of metal and it spins much better. And that one is only 50 or 60 pesos, but it doesn't have the cool lights built in. So for those who don't know, a fidget spinner is basically just something you play with when you're fidgeting. So, you know, some people click a pen or they tap a desk or this one, you just play with this little thing. And some people do tricks where they spin it up and they balance it on one finger and then throw it over to the other hand. There's some pretty cool tricks out there. You can do. Um, but yeah, a little bit late to the party, but CDR King are finally here with their own fidget spinners. And the lights are actually pretty cool. You just click them to turn them on. Oh, why didn't that one come on? There we go. And they actually have different modes. So right now that's the full RGB going crazy. If you click it again, you can see it kind of alternates like that. And if we try spin it, pretty cool, different effect. And if you click it again, you get a third setting. And yeah, it's pretty cool actually. It has some nice built-in features and you can, you can do different lighting on different ones. It's actually pretty cool. And I think for 100 pesos, it's not bad. One thing you might notice is mine has a little bit of noise. So I was thinking we can just try to add some oil to the bearing and see if that helps. So the first thing we have to do is remove these plastic covers. You wanna do this a little bit gently because you don't wanna damage them. They are on there pretty tight. There's one. And there you go. Now, unlike other fidget spinners where you can put your fingers on the bearing and spin it without these, that won't work with this because it's a very small bearing in there. So I'll put this on a paper bag and add some oil. Hopefully that will help with our noise. I'll just put, this is just a generic like four in one oil that can be used for many different things. And I'll just put some oil either side. And then let's put these little bits of plastic back in. Hopefully this will help with our noise. A little bit of excess oil on there. Uh, it's still kind of noisy, but it's not as bad. It hasn't got the squeak anymore. Oh, actually, it's getting a bit better. It's definitely spinning easier. Although I've spilt some oil. Let me try and clean this up a bit. So there's still a little bit of noise there, but it doesn't have the annoying squeak that it had before, and it's definitely spinning a bit easier. So you might want to just grab a little bit of oil. Even old car oil will work. Pretty much any oil. Oops, it's still a little bit slippery because I haven't wiped off all the oil yet. Um, there we go. You can even put it on top of things and then have it spin there. Let's try. There you go. So just a short video. A lot of people already, or most people already know about these fidget spinners. Oh, why did that light go off? There we go. Most people already know about these, but the fact that they're available at CDR King and at pretty low prices, I thought I'd make a quick video. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.